Hey guys, Hon Houdini Tai here, helping you escape your nine to five. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about retirement. The big question is, how will retirement be? Now, a lot of you guys are still working your nine to five and saving for retirement, but are you saving enough and will the plan actually work? So let's say here's someone at the age of 25 and they're looking to retire at the age of 65. So they have 40 years of retirement or retirement saving years available. If they save $18,000 a year, which breaks down to $1,500 a month, $750 every two weeks, or $375 a week, they would end up with $1.7 million at the age of 65, 40 years later, with a growth of 4%, okay? So this grows at 4%, so all of the savings over 40 years is $1.7 million. Now, if they were to live to the age of 100, which is 35 more years, divided by 35, they would be living off of $48,000 a year. It's like a $48,000 salary. But here's the little caveat with that. In 1978, which is 40 years ago from today, so 40 years back, the average salary was $10,000. Fast forward, the average salary is $48,000. So let's look at it a different way. If you're making $48,000 40 years later into the future, right? If you're making $48,000 40 years from now, will it feel like you're only making $10,000? So if that's the case, this $48,000 won't feel the same because of inflation. So it might actually only feel like $10,000 and maybe, maybe not that extreme. So let's cut that in half. Maybe it'll feel like you have a $25,000 salary. So is your retirement plan working or will it work? And if you're not saving $18,000, and you, you'll know you're saving $18,000 because are you doing three seventy-five dollars per week? If you get paid every two weeks, are you putting away seven fifty dollars a week or every paycheck? So if the answer is no and it's less, then you won't have this much, meaning you won't even have that much. The scariest thing for somebody who's retired is not worrying about dying. It's worrying about whether they, they will outlive their money. And oftentimes that's the case because a lot of times they're creeping up on the retirement age and they are nowhere close to this. And try it for yourself. Maybe you're not 25, maybe you're 45 and you got 20 more years. Look at how much money you already have in your, in your retirement account. And are you on track to making enough money so that you won't outlive your money? So that's, that is a breakdown. So here though, is another, here's another solution that you might have not have considered in terms of retirement planning. Here is the retirement solution that I'm proposing. In our first example, here we were saving money until the age of 65 and then using it and hoping that we don't outlive our money. I'm proposing a situation like this where it just continues to grow and grow and grow. And how do we do that? Of course, it's through real estate. So let's say you have rental properties and each house produces $500 cash flow. That means the rent comes in, let's say the rent's $1,200, and of that $1,200, $700 goes out towards expenses and mortgage payments. So then you have $500 left in terms of cash flow. If you have eight of these properties, that's $4,000 a month. Multiply by 12, that's $48,000 a year. That's exactly the same as when we have $1.7 million dollars divided by 35 years which is the age or the amount of years that you will need until reaching the age of 100. so it's the same in that regard but there's a big difference with rents rents rise rent rises with inflation whereas your money that you're withdrawing from it doesn't it doesn't necessarily rise with inflation but the rents they rise with inflation and if you guys ever watched my other video about the four quadrants of why rental real estate is powerful, mortgage payments stay fixed. So every single month, you're paying this fixed mortgage amount, but your rents are rising, 
So your cash flow is ever increasing. It's keeping up with inflation or exceeding inflation, right? Now, here's the other, the other four quadrants, right? The A stands for appreciation and the P and P here stand for principal pay down. So every single month, you're, you're experiencing appreciation and then every single month, you're also experiencing principal pay down. So that spread that is ever increasing is called your equity. And what can you do with equity? Well, you can access it. And when you access it, you have access to tax-free money. And what's neat is if you pay down your mortgage and you refinance, you get this giant check and your mortgage payment will probably stay the same, which is crazy. So you're going to get this big giant lump of cash. Maybe it's $70,000 because you've paid down your equity so much and then you refinance, boom, $70,000 tax free money. You still have your cash flow and we haven't even talked about the depreciation yet. So that is my solution for retirement. Hopefully you guys see the power within this graph. If you don't understand it, feel free to message me, email me, get in contact so that you can really understand this because if you're close to the age of 40 and 65 is just right, right around the corner, you better start preparing yourself with the right plan because once you reach 65, it's kind of too late to start planning then. To realize you don't have enough money at the age of 65 is a scary thing. If you're at the age of 40, you can try to save enough so that when it when you start taking from it, it lasts as long as you need, or you can just work a better plan like this. You choose. If you like this or any of my videos, feel free to go to iescapedmy9to5.com or email me at hone at iescapedmy9to5.com. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video.